Hey Waters and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm joined by... Jordan, all right? Joined with Jordan, sorry. And we're in the van. We've just pulled up to B&Q. And I think today we are going to build some shelves on my wall. So you might have seen on my Instagram um, that I have like this wooden shelf on this plain white wall with my TV on and a bunch of other rubbish. And I want to like have more than one shelf on the wall. Yeah. That, how, how would you describe it? Staggered? Maybe? Yeah, just one above the other but kind of in like diagonal staggered yeah, it, i think it. it's staggered kind of <laughs> not really staggered though and um, this is the handyman that's going to be doing the deed today george <laughs> your little cutie i think they've met you before haven't they yeah 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 yeah. you guys have seen him before but i think we're going to try and make him more of a permanent fixture on the ueus of tubius because look how cute he is i haven't done my hair stop zooming in oh my god your hair looks good um is there anything else we need to tell them um oh we've actually been here this is the third twice time now. we went this twice is the third time our third time twice yesterday yeah this is like we're for some reason on the diy hype what did we build yesterday go on because we're proud of that i built uh, um with the assistance of me okay assistance but we built so yeah. i say um like a moving table for so in a hospital you get like a yeah the bed we've got the wheels and it moves closer and it like moves away. over the bed so like the legs are either side of the bed and the table comes across the bed yeah. so you can like push it all the way down to the end of the bed so it's like not there or you can like wheel it up so it's like right here and you can have like a tv there or like eat dinner in bed and stuff like that and it's like perfect for him because he puts my tv on there so he can have fifa fifa right in front of his face instead of like looking up at a tv because apparently that's just a stress that's too stressful for george so um he's happy i have a picture of it you can show him. <gasps> insert clip look at the clip as if you're really excited corner stone okay bye oh tell them about the 20 pound wood very expensive bit of wood I I need this. no the first time I've come to I, um, not IKEA, B and Q, the first time I paid six pounds. Six pounds, right? And then we come back for the same bit of wood, and it was twenty pounds for the same piece of wood. Realised like, it was literally. the wrong bit of wood. The only difference was I accidentally bought the smooth bit, and that was an extra but it wasn't fourteen pounds. It wasn't smooth. Okay. For um, anyone who might not know, B and Q is like a hardware store where they sell like. If just need, like, everything. Yeah, if you need like a drill or screws, it's basically that. And we need to go find some wood. In the corner, wasn't it? The far, far the right. Oh. Doesn't coming to B&Q like really get you? Sorry. Doesn't coming to B&Q like really excite you for like, moving out and like decorating the whole house? Kind of. Kind of, but not. What? Make glitter. Look at that. Glitter. Yeah, I know it's glitter, but like, make glitter. Make. Feel that? It says warm feet with under tile heating. Cold feet. <laughs> feel that, feel that, feel that, feel that. <laughs> the size difference of our hands, by the way. This one. I don't know how big your size is at yours though. Definitely wasn't that thick. Oh, you think that's too that wide? It wasn't really? that thick. It yeah. was quite heavy as well, actually. <laughs> For some reason, I feel like we've got it I down. think it's that one. No, it's not, because it doesn't have these, like the connecting bits. Oh. What do I know? I'll just oh, put it together. Is it that? Yeah, yeah, that's it. The only thing is, I don't remember the. Look at the corners, they're like. A rounded. Shaped. So how many of those? Three? Yeah. What's eight times three? Come on. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. Twenty-four pounds? Yeah. Okay, we can do that. Do that's it. Keep them? damaging them. Do you want to explain to them how you can? All you do is you just get the, get the leveller, level it off, draw a line, and that's where you keep the, the wood. But then you get the L wood brackets, 
and it comes with little holes in there already. So if you've got plasterboard wall plugs and plasterboard screws, you literally dot where you're going to put them, drill in the plasterboard wall plugs, get the wood, put the screw in the wood and it should go directly in the wall plug and it just stays still. Make sure you get it level though, otherwise it look a bit wonky. It looks a bit rubbish. It's like we got two pieces of this, didn't we, last time? Yeah. And we had them side by side. But we didn't up. really distribute the weight very well, so it was no. a bit... But anyway, so above it, I want to have like three of these like this. Yeah. So they're all like jaunty. Yeah, so one, that level. And then like this. That's how we're going to go. Kind Staggered of. like that. But like, obviously with bigger gaps in between because we've got to fit like the plants and everything like that in, in it. So yeah, but let's go find the brackets. Whoa, look at the size of this. Isn't it crazy to think that this, they were all this large trees? I think that's where wood comes from. No, I know, but like, do you think that these were the, in, are the insides of trees? Look, that's kind of what Amy's got in her room, what I've put up. Yeah, but how much nicer is that, like the raw edge? Yeah. Isn't that cool? They'd be cool to have um, as like bedside tables, tables like yeah. floating ones, but until we get the new bed, we can't really decide. Why do I think they're the coolest things ever? Because you like ratatouille. <laughs> Reminds you of the cheese wheel. Yeah, that one's cool. The rose gold ones. Yeah, but you haven't got rose gold oh, anywhere else. These are the ones. Yeah, that's it. So, look at the size of that drawer. Pinch. In theory though, would that be there? Because all the... Oh, look at this. Mirror though, wouldn't you? Self-closing doors. That's Ellie Nash's boyfriend. That was it. Shout out to Ellie Nash and Will. Right. She's stealing. Oh. Okay. That was not necessary. Oh, that's not necessary. Oh, no. Look at the planted. Look at the plantage. Uh, oh, well. Please scan the barcode. Decent. Please insert your card into yeah, so four brackets, two bits of wood, and you'll see how the outcome is a bit later. Look at him. In you get. We've just stopped off for some food in a pub called Sarsen, Sarsen and Stones. The Sarsen Stones. Local pub, quite loud because we sat outside, but I don't know. Let me come to the next to you. What are you thinking of for food? Just look how dark it is. <laughs> uh, jacket potato pie. A jacket pea? Which yeah. one? Beans and cheese. Yeah, I was thinking that. Without the cheese though. Or maybe a bit of cheese. Always cheese. Or a or chips chicken though. burger or a cheese and bacon burger. Their menu's actually so nice and it's not that expensive. Good, like there's some good things. Oh, I wonder if you can get, can you get milkshakes here? I think so, I haven't really had a look. You love a milkshake, don't you, Boo? I do, I do. Yeah. Oh my God, I love cats so much. Oh, hi, you're so cute. Okay, what do I want? I think I might get the veggie burger. <clears throat> Chicken, mushroom, and spinach pie. Your taste in food is horrible. Oh, I'd never say that to you. Oh, I'd say that to you. <laughs> By the time the food comes, I'm not even hungry that more because my insides have eaten each other. I'm just choosing between chicken and veggie. Because the buttermilk chicken burger sounds nice. Buttermilk chicken goujons with bacon, and cheese, and chicken gravy on the side. But I don't like, um, I wouldn't want the bacon and the cheese. What have you got? What did you get? Extra large cheese and bacon. Yeah. Um, with chips. Yeah, just chips. And onion rings that you don't like. And I got the vegan burger with now four onion rings, but it looks good. But it took so long, didn't it? Yeah, I'm starving. Yeah, we're going to eat. Shot. Oh my god! What? So gross.
Is it good? Mm -hmm. Tastes exactly like a burger you get off the barbecue. Really? Mm. Well, like a barbecue you do at home? Mm. Oh, looks good. So this is what I've done when we bought the brackets. You literally just get two wood screws, one there, which you have to do with this because my drill doesn't fit, the Phillips, and then that one with the drill. Put it on both sides, and what I've done was just either side of this. It's easier than getting the hole. Concentration face. <laughs> For any DIYers, what drill are you using? Makita, uh, combi drill. Expensive. Expensive! Yeah, <laughs> They look scary, what are they? Uh, plasterboard wall plugs. So what? if you've got plasterboard walls, yeah. you have to use these. You can't use the normal red ones. Oh really? Now it's just a matter of we're going to hoover up the little mess there. And style, I think. Well, you're going to go home and play FIFA. <laughs> yeah, look, what a vibe. It's so cool. I do feel like there's quite a bit of dead space there. Do you agree? But maybe I could put a picture there. Who knows? But yeah, so this is my wall. And... I'm gonna style it now. So that's it for today's video, you guys. We will be back with another video next week. If you enjoy these kind of videos, it was a, what? How would you describe it? Um, vlog, DIY, whatever. Bit of everything. Not really a DIY, just. Not really a DIY, just it's Sunday and we wanted something to do and we're pretty broke, so we thought let's build some shelves. But if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, um, then please do give us a comment. Like and subscribe. Bye. Say bye.